the uh, the sun salutation, so to speak, right? Like they'll just eat the sun salutation before it gets anywhere near to buzz, which is one of Varun's main uh, zoning tools. And the other thing is the header. If a Pikmin latches onto Wii Fit Trainer's head uh. and is doing like a, you know the active hits, when you try to get out the the medicine ball to spike it with your head, yeah. the Pikmin hitbox will hit the medicine ball first, and, and it'll, it'll just completely throw off the angle and everything. You know, like I think it can actually hit the Wii Fit <laughs> see, Trainer. See what he's doing here. <laughs> One last attempt at the ruse. Yeah, <laughs> the buzz unimpressed. Yeah, locking in. All right, Wii Fit versus Olimar. Yeah, these yep. are the characters we come to expect from them. You know, we might see. If things get dicey, we might see the Palutena or the Rosalina from DeBuzz. We could see that Duck Hunt Dog from Varun, but it is going to be their mains going into game one. Mm-hmm. It's it. got the Lana Del Rey tag. <laughs> DeBuzz got the Shinderu spelled wrong. <laughs> I didn't even know that was spelled wrong. Spelled very wrong. OK, doing some deep breathing off the stage. Oof. Yeah, eat this medicine ball. Mm -hmm. Gotta take out those white Pikmin. Ugh, this is a lot of early damage from the buzz. Yeah. Which is kind of the Olimar classic. You just feel like you're always like... That right there, you saw the medicine ball just appear and hit Wee Trainer in the face. That was because the red Pikmin was on uh, Varun's face right there. Wow, yeah, seems yeah. super frustrating. But immediately gets a, gets to start the next stock with a deep breathing. Yeah. Deep breathing being kind of like having like a diet Monado of every flavor <laughs> on at the same time. It's true. It's so terrifying. Yeah. But it already goes away. The buzz, not extending at all, has no reason to, especially with the stock lead. Right. And it's it's, it's usually kind of not... Uh, with a deep breathing uh, we fit, especially, yeah. With a deep breathing we fit, yeah. Olimar in general, too, like, you know, mm -hmm. you can kind of hang back. Just take stage control. If anything, you probably want to pressure them to not be able to get deep breathing out, so you want to stay within that range, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of that middle range. It's like, the thing is, though, like... like right here. You, there's, like... That uh, the cooldown period before you can deep breathe again and have like the same strength of effect. Right. So at that point, the buzz is pretty content. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, like hey, these headers are, are piling on little bits of damage, and uh, Varun is trying to keep his composure about it, not rushing things too fast. Yeah. We get a full power deep breathing happening, and the Pikmin extending that hitbox. Getting a bit more damage on the buzz, but nothing lethal yet. Nothing lethal, yeah. But the there backer's gonna is. do it. Yeah. yeah. Sick backer there. Mm, that Wii Fit's back air is so good. It's, it's the reason why Wii Fit trainers, when they're trying to play like really defensive, they're purposely blocked with their back to you. Mm -hmm. so they can jump back air you because their jump forward air isn't nearly as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think their out of shield is a little better facing backwards too, right? What, uh, in terms of how fast it comes out? No, like if they're if you're pressing the back of their shield, it's like a little bit scarier than pressing the front of their shield. They're one of those characters. Because yes, exactly. Yeah, because the back air is rising so good. Rising back air, yeah. Yeah, rising back air. It's so strong so fast and covers a lot of space. Right. Oh, and he, and he actually, I, I feel like he could have hit with that. Yeah, yeah, because he definitely expected, like, a, an air dodge. He just didn't charge the force match long enough. Because right. he, he was charging it. He just not quite. I think he was expecting it a directional down air dodge. Oh, could as be. As opposed to just an air dodge while falling. Right. Just a mistiming. Mm. Oh, wait, he's got to get that. White Pikmin off. I guess he's just going to shield it. That works, too. And All I, right. I, I think that's the right call. Uh, DeBuzz had two purples out, so when you swat at the White Pikmin, that's essentially being whiff punished it's by a purple. Easy. Yeah, it's too yeah. easy of a, of, a, of a bait there, right? Because you, you're definitely going to die to anything Olimar does anyway. Yeah. So, like, the White Pikmin damage, that's giving you rage. Sure. Right, right, right. Yeah, just shield it. Shield the hits. Yeah, at this point, you're, you're, you're totally right. That header kind of serving the purpose to just, if anything, get the Pikmin off them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Parry there, but with a, with another Pikmin coming in, another deep breathing. Beautiful. <laughs> that's that's one thing. Varun's aiming with the uh, the header spikes are just so clean. Yeah, that was a snipe. Ah, oh, oh. that's so risky. Yeah, the, if it connected, given like the fact that it was deep breathing corner of the stage and stuff, that might have actually killed the buzz. Like that F tilt's pretty strong. Yeah. So like you can't. I, I understand Varun wanting to make that call. Yeah, he had the you know enough rage too that it would. Uh, Definitely a potentially. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Try to get the stage break with the header. Varun, very close to evening this one up. Oh my god, so many Pikmin on him. Oh, this is scary now. His shield getting so small. Okay. The, the fact that Varun had the patience to say, no, no, he still has a Pikmin by him to up smash. I'm going to wait for that, waited, and then had the luxury to go for whatever. Yeah. Because that's the thing you always have to watch for with Olimar, is you have to think of the Pikmin as being ammo, and specifically, like, the Pikmin standing next to Olimar is his current ammo. So if there are no Pikmin next to him, you can do kind of anything and you won't be punished because he can't smash attack you and he can't grab you. Right. That time, though, he, uh, <laughs> DeBuzz definitely just running up and grabbing because he had the ability to do so. Yeah. 
This could be a ledge trap here. All right, just going to kind of back off, throw the red Pikmin at him. Yeah, because the red Pikmin had Ooh. the active hitbox to send the, the volleyball just right back into a Wii Fit's face. Right. Oh, man. And yeah, you got to eat that white Pikmin damage. That's so much. Very stressful situation here for Varun. Oh. Taking his time, though, not... He's not giving in to fear, right? He's got the shield up, and he's willing to just stick with it because he, he sees the lineup that Debuzz has. Like, you don't have a blue Pikmin. You're not going to kill me with a grab, so I'm safe to keep my, my block up. But yeah, can't block though. in the air. Just the, uh, just the up air. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, it is a scary lineup that when he has when he has two purples like that. Ironically, it was the yellow Pikmin, I think, that did the, the finishing up air. But Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think Virgin played that overall, like, pretty well. It, uh, but it was the first stock that, was, that really mess up that entire game for him, right? Like, you could see him start to get the, the right composure and tempo play against a buzz, but, like, that first stock started with, like, 100%, and then he died. Yeah. Like, pretty much immediately. Well, he did even it up. That, like, I think he, he was only... He, there was a point where he was only at a deficit of, like, 20, so... Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Take him to Pokemon Stadium. Does it, I mean, it kind of makes sense, especially if you want to uh, slow down the pace of the game and stuff. Right. Um, though I imagine DeBuzz isn't really that opposed to that either. Yeah. Yeah, they're both pretty happy to, you know, you're happy to have your, your room to back off and do deep breathing. Uh, and, you know, obviously, Olimar, one of the best horizontal space controllers in the game. Ooh, mm -hmm. looking for the roll away there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Rune partly went here is just like, I want platforms that kind of always exist so I can deal with your Pikmin toss a little bit better as mm. opposed to FD where it covers so much space. Yeah. But right now, the juggling is, once again, being a, a bit of a thorn for Varun. It's a bit tough to come down as we Fit Trainer, right? Doesn't really have any armor options. The down air doesn't cover that much space. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Awesome. Great answer there from uh, from Buzz. Wow. And the, the, the purple Pikmin just perfectly sniped. You got aim. I got aim, too. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Debuzz taking that first stock so cleanly. Mm -hmm. And uh, so much of it is just leveraging the juggle, just getting more and more damage off these up airs, chasing that shadow, and getting already 82%. Yeah, you said it, man. It's, 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 this, this is slipping away fast. Yeah. I, I think a big part of it is, like, I, I almost want to see Varun just pick a direction and just keep drifting that way because he keeps changing whether it's left or right every time he gets up aired by DeBuzz, which just makes him stay in center stage and means that Olimar doesn't need to run that much to get the next hit. Yeah, I see. It's like the smart thing to do because you you, you, you don't want to be like the, the most scrubby thing you can do is drift in one direction, but sometimes you've got to do the scrubby thing. Yeah, the scrubby yeah. option loops around and becomes the good option. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But getting caught by that blue uh, up throw, and DeBuzz, I think, wasn't even hit that previous stock. Right. Uh, so this is kind of looking like the workout's finished for uh, Varun. Never mind. Gets himself that Nair into up smash. If there was one way he was going to bring this game back, it was going to be that up smash at 90. Yeah. So this is, if he can find himself another confirm like that, which I know Varun has been la has labbed out over months, right. so many different situations. Uh, never mind, you know, he can actually still put himself in this game. I think a big part of it is he's also playing this neutral a lot cautious, a lot more cautiously, staying on these platforms specifically. Yeah. Platform camping against Olimar, it's always been pretty strong. It also does feel like right now, I feel like the buzz is one step ahead in this like shield, continue to shield or let your shield down game. Like a lot of these situations where Varun is shielding up close because he wants to shield the Pikmin hits. Mm, yeah, the, yeah. The buzz has not been doing like the you know the raw grab or whatever, but he's he's tending to get a lot of damage after. Varun lets his shield down. Right, so it's just like, okay, you're near me in shield, and then I can punish your out of shield. Yeah. I'll wait for that. Oh, oh. wow! I can't believe it. <laughs> I got hit by that. Oh, my gosh. What a... Oh. <laughs> that was cheeky. What? Yeah. I, like, I don't blame Varun for getting hit by that, too. It's like, I don't...